Breezers. How are you guys? Happy Friday. <laughs> um, we have a foodie beauty community post from three hours ago. When does she sleep? Anyways, um, I'm sure many of you guys have seen the picture of BBJ's eating area. Um, it was horrible. Um, the pictures have been floating around. I personally don't want to even look at it again. Um, but I guess foodie cleaned up the mess in the area and she wrote, it's a start. Sorry, BBJ. Foodie, I just don't know if this is enough. I mean, would you have even cleaned up the area if that picture wasn't floating around and you got so many comments on it? I just don't know. I just don't know. All right, let's read some of these comments. Uh, Frolicking Merrily said, Imagine a 38-year-old being a pet parent for over 10 years and still lacking the common sense of knowing the proper conditions to care for a pet. I'm liking that comment. Robin said, when you're apologizing for the state of it, saying you'll do it tomorrow, but in the same breath say, I need to roll slash get high, it just highlights your true priorities. Um, Kawabunga Pandu said, so it takes public shaming for you to take care of your cats and give them clean food and water? You're not even doing the bare minimum. I'm going to like that comment. Um, Deer said, this is scary, Chantal. If thousands didn't call you out, that poor cat would still be eating filth. I'm actually shocked you even cleaned it up. You're not a child. You should know that is horrific, maddening. Um, Corgi Love said, If no one would have mentioned you dumping cat food on the floor, she still would be eating off the floor. I know. It's your depression. No, Chantal, it's sheer laziness. Depression is your excuse. Please take some accountability for once. Um, the Duchess of Cornville said, Sweet BBJ is the equivalent of an 80-year-old human. She needs very special care to make sure she can live out her life comfortably. A vet may recommend special food made for elderly cats. At the very least, she skills, she still be getting checked out regularly to make sure she stays healthy and happy. I hope she's doing okay. She's a beautiful girl. I'm going to like that comment too. Um, Mia said, everyone knows Chantal is waiting on BBJ to die so she doesn't have to worry or provide care to her. That cat is a burden to Chantal and she's only doing the bare minimum just to say she did her best. If you don't care said, when you only fix and apologize for toxic abuse because the public became witness to it, yet another gross foodie behavior. Add it to the list. Um, Holly W. said, I get BBJ is old as dirt and her time is near, but can you please take her in for another checkup? You said she's been crying more and noticed a decline since the last visit. You also never follow up with her blood work like the vet wanted. Just take her in for vitals and update the vet on the changes in her and discuss the best path forward to ensure she's not in pain. Uh, Meredith said, it's not a start. It's a photo for attention that won't be kept up. Pets rely on us to take care of them and keep them safe. Those cats love her regardless because that's what animals do. Chantal deserves to rot alone. No pets, no peats. She deserves to just evaporate in our filth and hatred. Uh, Kathy L said, You would get a positive feedback if you took her to the vet. But fast food, edibles, and nadir are more important, right? Pray for kitties. I'm praying for them too. Halloween Ibadusi said, Kidney disease is manageable. She needs constant fresh water, maybe sub Q fluids weekly, and medication. There are specialty foods you can get from your vet that are specifically for cats with kidney disease. There's plenty you can do to make her golden years the best possible, but if you but you refuse. It's like her health declining is an inconvenience because it's taking attention, money, and time away from you. I'm going to like that comment. Um, no more now, she said. Too little, too late. May you receive on return exactly what you have given. Um, Naomi said, If BBJ has weak kidneys, she should really be on some renal cat food, hard and soft. I do hope you make that vet appointment because they'll make sure she gets on better food from the clinic. Right, let's scroll up. You gotta be kidding me, said. Sorry, BBJ? You're not sorry to BBJ. You're sorry to Chantel because you got your feelings hurt from being called out for treating your elderly pet like any other piece of trash on that floor. 
you need to be put under supervision. Um, Ross Wine said, Ross Wine, yeah, said, ask animal shelter nearby if anyone can take care of her. Just say you are too depressed to take care of your old cat. People might call you out a bit, but majority of people will understand and be happy about BBJ having a better life than living with you. That's the best way. That's the best way you can do to your sweet BBJ. All right, LW said, "Is BBJ losing fur around her eyes slash head? My cat had this, and it was caused by fleas. The fleas were biting and irritating the skin. Please make sure she's treated. It's so easy to forget and leave it too long between treatments." All the best. Um, Electric Rodeo said taking her to the vet would be a start. Um, Sarah B said, what's the next step then? A vet checkup to ensure her teeth are fine and she's not in any pain? Maybe the SPA need to be contacted so they can give you some advice on how to care for an older cat. You should know one of the first rules of the internet, don't F with cats. Wow, there you go. The Roach said, this is literally the bare minimum. Does she have a clean litter box? Um, Brittany G said, just because BBJ has made it to old age doesn't mean you're a good pet owner. Living doesn't always mean thriving. She may be nearing her final days, but you can at the very minimum keep her comfortable as possible and do the follow-up on her blood work from a few months ago. Um, let's see. Miss Marchand said, I have two rabbits and a dog, and they don't live in filth surrounding them every day. My heart breaks for BBJ and Sam. They deserve to be cared for and live in a clean home. I'm going to like that comment. Um, Carla said, so if the camera didn't pan to that mess, would it be cleaned up today? No, it would not be. You just cleaned it because people saw that huge mess and called you out. I'm going to like that comment. Um, Eleanor said, if you're worried about taking BBJ to the vet and stressing her out, then ask the vet for gabapentin and get some pill pockets and follow the vet's instructions for that before taking her in. She needs to see a vet. She likely needs a special diet and maybe she needs medicine to be comfortable in her senior years. Seriously, karma will get to you if you survive long enough to become elderly. All right, I'm going to scroll up so you can read some of these comments at your own convenience. I hope you guys are having a great day, a good day, <laughs> great day, great, whatever, great evening, wherever you are. Wow, I've never messed that up before. <laughs> Let's shake off any negativity um, or bad vibes. Shake, 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 shake. And let's just send our positive wishes and positive vibes to the cats and hope that um, things get better and they're taken care of and foodie makes more of an effort for them. Um, scrolling up. Uh, Miss Power said, well, that's something, I guess. It really hurt my heart to see BBJ's food mess, but at least you got it cleaned up. Better than not, I guess. Sigh, can we just not let it get to that state? BBJ deserves the absolute world, Chantal. I know you know that. Step up and give it to her. All right, you guys. I will see you so soon. Let's shake off any negative vibes one more time. Shake, 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 shake. All right, bye, you guys. See you so soon.